Hey guys, I hope everybody is having a fantastic day, whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening. And I wanted to wish everybody an absolute fantastic and Merry Christmas coming up, and a Happy New Year, and know that I'm thinking about all of you. But today, the reason for my video is I want to take a little time and talk about um, Wicked Wax. Wicked Wax, I was up at the Nashville Custom Knife Show and I bumped into a fella, Fred Dupreeze, Dupreeze Forge, and um, we started talking. He had some of his Wicked Wax and I asked him what it was and it's uh, made in the USA, kind of a beeswax based, food safe, uh, knife protectant. Um, it's good for knife blades, it's good for um, wood, it's good for preserving and protecting plastic, it's good for protecting leather and refinishing or refurbishing leather I guess I should say and it's good for micarta and so he was also it was right around the time we were doing Knives, Knives Live I met him when I was talking to Doug Ritter I believe and he donated for the Knives Rights or Knives Live Grand Prize um, a pack, a little tin of this Wicked Wax, which I just got in the mail today because it's hit the market now. So we sent some of this out um, in each of the grand prizes during Knives Live, and what I wanted to do is, A, let you guys know it's available. I'll put some links in the description. Uh, DLT Trading has it. I want to say River's Edge Cutlery has it. Um, I'll put a link for Dupreet's, I'm mispronouncing it, but it's Dupreet's Forge where they sell it directly. Um, just some straight up links, not affiliate links, not anything like that. It's just something that I wanted to try. Um, I'm always looking for different things to make my knives wear better and I like rubbing on them and it's just another thing to do. So what we're going to do is I've got a couple of knives out here. I've got my... Um, fantastic little scalpel it's baltic blades um angus i'm probably pronouncing that right this little knife is a package destroying machine i've got my little mkm micro one that i wear on my belt every day with my carta handles and then i've got my jacob creates um chickadee and s90v i've in with my carta handles keep that in my left pocket in the slip. And so what I figured what we would do is we would just kind of see, oh, and I also have in my pocket my Liang Ma Field Duty. So I figured we would test out, try out this Wicked Wax that's made in the USA by Fred. Um, and just a super nice guy. I'm trying to think of the best way to apply it. This is where I used to always cut myself when I would use other kind of waxy base protectants because I like to kind of rub them on the blade which is probably not the way to so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to rub this into the steel without cutting my finger and this is again not the way I recommend you do it I recommend you do it probably with a little rag or something I'm going to use one to wipe it off but uh, use more sense than me do as I say not as I do so what I've done is i just kind of gotten a nice coat of that wax on the blade. I'll let that sit for a sec. And put a little law on the MKM, M390. This stuff's real, um, kind of like I don't know if y'all have used beard balm, beard wax. It's a pretty heavy wax, but when you rub your finger over it, it, uh, it really is easy to apply itself. I'm sure it would do the same on a, uh, a cotton, a little cotton cleaning cloth or something like that if you wanted to use something like that instead of your finger. Again, I like the way the metal feels, so I'll take the risk kind of like stropping against the grain. Try not to cut my finger, but love on my knives. And what might happen is you guys might get to see a live finger cutting. On air, 
because I don't edit my videos. And let me know what y'all think of the cheesy intro in the comments. I did that on Canva, just playing around, really to get my interior designer daughter to feel sorry for me when she saw how shoddy it was so that she'll make me a more proper intro and channel logo and all that fun stuff as we continue down this walk of knife addiction slash sharp thing loving knife community hanging out weird youtube world that we all exist in and i wouldn't have it any other way but let me know what y'all thought of that little intro i made that on canva all right let's put a little bit on the jacob creates so guys i don't know how long i'm actually supposed to leave this stuff on here i know i'm not leaving it on here too long um go to one of the links or some of the product links and see if it has any direct instructions i'll send an email to fred and get his uh get his advice on that's one thing i didn't have time to do when we were in nashville was kind of get more of a how to for him but i'll reach out to him and then when i do the kind of full review and tell you how this stuff if it made a difference or what i felt it did when i say cleaning cloths that's what i was going to use but my adhd and my desire to rub on my knives made me not use that but i am going to use a fresh river's edge cutlery cloth chamois here to now take it off see what I'm left with I also use this stuff called coon oil that I get at Smoky Mountain Knife Works that I rub on my knives before I put them back in storage or in my case just curious if that feels waxy it doesn't feel waxy and keep in mind this is beeswax based so it's food safe and I feel like I've got a coating on there now so let's take care of our field duty EDC kind of buff it out and also guys even if you like rubbing on your blades like I do I shouldn't tell you because you already know this it's probably the number one way I cut myself and cut myself good because I'll get comfortable with what I'm doing not pay as much attention and do something dumb so use extra care when you're cleaning or messing with your blades I don't have to tell you that though seems to put down a nice not sticky not slippery where that um, coon oil which is good stuff I'll show it to you here in just a second we've got a new bottle I need to open up because I'm almost out of it but I have a feeling that this is going to last longer and might not require I always keep one of those cleaning cloths that I just showed you guys saturated with the coon oil and I just rub on my blades after I've spent some time either opening boxes with them or flicking them while I'm watching live streams or having a live stream being on a live stream playing with knives because we should always use our shit whether we're using it sitting on the couch or using it out in the woods and I think we should always take care of our shit and this stuff is very economical they sell it in a couple of different tin sizes again check the link I want to say it's you can get a two ounce tin or a five ounce tin I probably got that wrong they're two different sizes one's under ten bucks one's right over ten bucks um, but I'm a 
junky when it comes to knife maintenance gear. Let me show you uh, that. Wicked Wax, guys. I'm looking forward to see how that works, and I'll let you all know. And hopefully it will replace coon oil, which I get at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. It's the only place I can find it. It's kind of a multi-purpose knife oil. And I keep this little rag. This is just a cleaning cloth, a tweeting a shotgun cleaning cloth that I keep saturated with the oil just to rub on my blades with. But I'm not going to rub on these four because I'm going to see how I carry all of these. I carried this today. I'm about to close it up and put it back in the case. But that is a fantastic knife. This is my number one in my collection in terms of if I had to be one and done right now, this would be it. I carried it today. It's a blast. I did not carry the, um, the Angus today, but I usually do. Today, instead, I carried this knife, but this will sometimes take its place on my belt, and the way I carry it is I have it just kind of on the front part of my belt, right by my buckle, so that it's what riding, I guess, around my appendix. Then if I need it, make a quick box cut, paper cut, whatever I need to cut, I can use my little fixed blade, which in this case, which is getting ready to go back in my sheath, on my belt is the Micro One. And then we've got the Jacob Creates Chickadee and S90V. We just treated it. It doesn't uh, show any signs of being treated, but when I feel the blade, it does feel um, not slit, but you can tell that there's, there's something on there. So keep in mind, guys, I think this is good stuff. I like the way that it uh, feels. I like what I read about it. I like getting to meet Fred and like the fact that he was, when he found out that we were having Knives Live 2022 and it was right literally the weekend before, he was like, is there any way I can give you guys um, some Wicked Wax for the grand prizes? Because like I said, I think Shane and I were talking to, uh, that's uh, Edgy American and I were talking to uh, Doug Ritter when I met Fred and we told him there were five grand prize packages and he said, let me get on back to the table. I'll get you five uh, Wicked Wax containers. And I sent them right out to Lefty and he put them in the prize pack. So curious if any of you guys that won one of the grand prizes during Knives Live, not that you watch my videos, but if you use your Wicked Wax, I'd look forward to seeing what you think about it too in the comments. But I'll tell you what I think about it after I've used it for a while. I'm putting the uh, chickadee back in my left pocket, which it actually rides in my left pocket in this Oak City Creations sheath. I just get it tucked down into the sheath, and then this sheath goes in my left pocket. I'm wearing khakis. Leon Ma is going to go back in the case because this is being filmed the night before uh, tomorrow, which tomorrow will be Friday, the 24th, 23rd? I don't know. I don't know what day it is. But anyway, so I probably will not carry this knife again tomorrow, although I've been known once I put it in my pocket like I did today and use it a few times. Guys, this is just, for me, this is just a fantastic knife. This is not what it's about, but thank you, Leon Ma, for designing it. Mine's in G10, uh, monoblock construction, full tie, L Max, fantastic detent. And again, my number one knife in my collection. So it is definitely an efficient EDC. It'll go back in my pocket. And if you would do me a favor and look out for the guy or gal to your left, look out for the guy or gal to your right, look out for each other. You know, the most important thing is to be civil with each other, be kind, keep love in your heart, move forward with debate instead of hate. I love all of you. Thank you for stopping by anytime you come to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you if you sub to my channel, and thank you for being part of a community that I cherish. I love you all. Peace.